Uh, projectiles reign supreme, and the ability to control space has been invaluable to a lot of these players tonight. And we're going to see it in full force with this match as well. A run back from winner's quarterfinals. This is going to be Farag versus Nanji. Winner goes up against the projectile grandmaster, Knuckle Dude, over there in Grand. We're going to have to see an empty jump in the punish counter throw, but... Balrog's got so much mileage out of counter poking with Crouching Strong, and we see it working out for them there as well. Now getting that life lead off of the M Machine Gun upper. So much damage available for DJ if he chooses to cash out in a damaging route. Here we go, Balrog RD showing shades of that last match that they played in. Checking, checking uh, the drive rushes with that Crouching Heavy. I mean, we're to meet him up, huh? excuse me. So definitely, we actually are definitely going to be on point. I don't know what you're swinging at, Najee, but you got to be careful right, right, how you ball these things. But punish kind of thrown to the corner right here and able to get the drive rush. Big game. Yep, and we're going to get the wall splat, I imagine, right into level 3. No, it's not going to connect, but the meaty setup is going to work. Najee managed to get away with not spending a single bar in order to close that one out. That scramble, I think Balrog was as confused as I was, because I got to tell you, I'm not sure that I was blocking either. I might have let go of the stick. H Slasher connects for Balrog to earn a nice 45-50% lead at the start of this one. And what a check on the DR immediately with those crouching Strongs. Yeah, we see like uh, Ball Rock, the adaptation with the defense, didn't see that it was just cool, it was gonna go off. Yeah, he saw, he saw the first hit was blocked and didn't go out throughout the second one. And now, able to really get things under control, kind of control the pace back here in the corner. Good parry by Nazi, the is real, but the showbot in there. Ball Rock just up this game. The same thing he did the first time he played, and I'm gonna win. This is a good start to it. Game one going to Ball Rock. I'm hoping, if this is going to be the tone of this matchup, then I'm hoping Balrog has a different energy going to the Grand, because that winner's finals is a nice, clean 3-0 for Dew. And just because you have an answer for Najee doesn't mean you have an answer for Dew. So we're going to have to see. Najee now in the driver's seat, but OD up kicks working out for Balrog. RD is they do not want to be dealing with the pressure in the corner. Nice cross cut up kick there out of Najee, ending up uh, slightly worse off in terms of screen position, but far better in terms of life and resource differential. Rocking these, uh, these links. Man, there's a jack in the I can just get myself so far rock, although, very, very good up in the pressure mid-screen. Najee gonna be able to get that sequence to get the round here as a ball rock. Woo! I was gonna say, yeah, ball rock feels like he's getting some pressure. Might wanna, he might end up doing a panic option. That grab was definitely gonna end up with a punish counter. Still, punish counter going back on his side now. And now, all your health, where did it go? Yeah, when DJ gets the right starter, he can cash out so much damage. Now, Najee on the back foot in terms of life. The screen positioning is about even, but also drive gauge not really working in Najee's favor. Balrog goes for, I don't know if that was a back dash or a middle step. Either way, it's getting clipped out, but now, forcing Naji into burnout. The fact that that follow-up on the Just Cool ended up plus as a result of the fact that it was just barely in burnout. Huge Naji trying to press their way forward. Almost out of burnout already. They've been so active through this. And yeah, fall out. Uh, <laughs> yo. Heavy punch and then, and then plus on whiff. OD <laughs> up kicks to punish the attempt. I don't know if that was 4D chess or, or reactions or what, but it is a result. Balrog one round away from a 2 0 lead. Right, nice pick up, but they do put themselves into burnout. We're going to cash out the level 3. That seems like the only choice that you can make at that particular moment. It's going to give you 40 to 50% of your drive gauge back. It's gonna let you try to reset. Actually, it ends up giving them back so little because literally the one move before is what ends up giving them uh, the burnout. No up kicks here. There you go. You, gotta, you kinda have to hold this defensive pressure and watch. You don't wanna be subject to any shooters or anything like that. Oh! oh! Manages to bait out Najee. We're a little bit too far away to get the link off of the standing fierce, but it still ends up working out. That empty fireball fate works out to solicit a response out of Najee. Now sitting down 
2-0 deficit in losers finals. Here we go, Naji. Just all that offensive muster is somehow lost within these last two games. And Wow, and uh, trying to go for an entry hop here, not going to be found here. And you see the offense now. We see the mix coming in now that the condition is resetting for Balrog. Here we go, and mid screen we are, and not finding a way to keep them pushing to the corner. And we know that Balrog is doing so much, but not this round. Naji can do the take this round. Game. Yeah, nice, uh, solid round there for Naji. I feel like they were in the driver's seat for most of that. But the way that Balrog chooses to... If it's not crouching strong, it's standing fierce. And I feel like Balrog RD is doing such a great job of making sure that they're always pressing that. There it is again with that crouching... That was crouching fierce that time, I think. Um, but still managing to do a great job of ensuring that they always bring it out when Naji is trying to choose to be the aggressor. Catching on that level one now is Naji off of that combo. Wanted for the burnout, we're just barely not going to get it. Balrog chooses to wake up with options so that they don't end up burnt out instead of choosing to burn themselves out with the OD up kicks. And now being hella aggressive, Naji, life about the same, but with us back in neutral, had to wait for the whiff punish, which is what they found there, and a game is on the board for Naji now, two games to one. Naji says, not into that good night. The prophecy hasn't revealed itself completely. The prophecy has not come true. Like last time they made it was a 3-2. So maybe a reverse of fortune on for Naji's play, but Naji needs more sequences just like this one. Gets a sequence, challenges with a butt, and then after it, and then uh, depending on how the condition is going, we'll go for another fight and get another big sequence just like this one. Right, nice starter off the standing fierce. Okay, we find a parry pop, but Naji chooses to commit a little bit longer, and Balrog plays defensively accordingly. Punish counter back throw there, working out for Balrog as they now have Naji a little bit closer to the corner, but Naji finding I think Naji's found the neutral buttons to hit to, to stymie Balrog just a hair, and it's made a huge difference so far. Wow, not able to get a follow up off that. Does get the counter here, for this grab. Does have an opportunity. If you are able to get a hit for the level two, you might want to spend a blood. Does get the OG update. And is able to throw the fireball and have enough recovery for it to get an up kick into the corner. Balrog with the reactions and the wherewithal. One round away, he is on set point. Balrog RD is down charging every time he commits to a standing option in these spots. That is the only takeaway that I can have. We've seen a couple of times that the whiff throw immediately into up kicks. Now they're fireball and up kicks. Man knows how to hang on to his down charge. Naji trying to be the aggressor. Both sitting on three bars here. DR forward from Balrog. And we're just content to earn a little bit of space. We have a slight life deficit. But we're not super stressed about that right now. I don't think Balrog has any reason to be stressed. Yeah, man. I was wondering uh, when Balrog was going to... You know, oh my god. Guy. What a jumping fierce. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. It had been like jumping medium kick. Jumping roundhouse so many times. But... That super downward hitbox of the Jumping Fierce setting up Balrog for that nice early lead. Oh no, we just barely don't get the jump back air air. Naji's gonna put themselves in burnout, but we have CA to cash out. I do believe that should be the round. Both are gonna go into what still might be the final round on zero resources. Naji 1000% fighting back in this and has uh, made it. Nearly an even game, but can you close out here to keep it up the set? Ooh, just get the shimmy. It's the full screen punish and he's literally pressuring Balrog into the corner. Gonna give Balrog a little bit of space. Once he's gonna make a decision, but he's gonna challenge him with buttons. Are we looking at a perfect KO to get into a game five between Balrog and Naji? And that was done quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, Naji really wants that set against Dew, it seems like. Or maybe they just had plenty of time to think about what they would have done differently in this match with those uh, DQs in the loser side. But in either case, they are certainly bringing a different energy here against Balrog RD. Empty jump throw. And just like that, another throw off the DR earns them corner position, but a back throw through a poorly spaced DR. Nice block on the instant overhead there for Balrog RD. Just uh, going to work here with the Sobot. And in the corner, uh, up kick. Not going to be found here. 
solid damage and does get the medium drive impact into the corner of the pin board, but setting up the plus in the corner with Nazi and Balrog gets the D-I-N. Do you have the rhythm on? Even if you do, it's not going to be enough, so we go for the crouching medium punch into up kicks extender. We still have a slight life deficit in all of this chip damage adding up, and now Naji puts themselves in burnout, but before that matters, they find the throw, and it is set point now for Naji trying to make it to this grand finals. Is Balrog RD going to be able to find the adjustment that they need to swing this matchup back around like they had on the winner side? Nice back throw through the gap in the fireball. Wow, finally getting the, the knee set up right there. The swaying in the back and the drive impact to force them away from them, even though they're in the corner still, but that just getting close off even quicker. The button pressing in the, oh my god, in the corner, and Naji is thrown back into the corner right here. Wow, installing oh. the landing with the dive kick. Huge, that back roundhouse was the perfect timing for a regular jump in anti-air, but Naji finds just enough breathing room. Okay, early dive kicks once again working out as Naji now has Balrog locked down to the corner. Very little drive gauge on the way of Balrog RD here. And is able to get out off the stagger, is able to get the slowdown for the DI. And now we have a final game the match point situation happening for a trip to Brand. Immediate DR into throw there for Balrog RD, who also uses the cool step for a little micro shimmy, but not much gonna come out of it. And an immediate level three cash out here from Naji. I appreciate it. I get it. It gives you the life lead, but more importantly, it earns you that drive gauge that you needed. And what a check on the throw. Back thrown out for Balrog RD, now having quarter control, it's still having three bars available to them. All right, definitely gonna get set up here. Yeah, able to get the safe jump to just cool. Here we go. Three bars available, and you're gone after this sequence. We'll get the level three dancing his way into grand finals. And hey, we're not even gonna dignify you with a cutscene. Just get me out of here, man. I lost to this guy 3 2 again. What a play by Balrog to get into grand finals for the run back against Knuckle Dude. And what a clutch close set as down to the wire as it could really be either one of them could have closed that out with you know one more touch but hey big ups to naji making the run through ladder and then through uh i mean i say through losers you had double dqs but hey third place still nothing to scoff at and you managed to get the 3-0 over yes darrow in loser semis but balrog uh it seems like they just have your number at a 3-2 cadence and just like that we are prepared for our grand finals. It's crazy because uh, we saw that Balrog was like, I was waiting for him to do that very specific sequence at that damage differential. Like, I, I'm like, hey, 